Thanks for joining us at ITU's headquarters for WISIS Forum 2019, where I am joined by Atsuko Okuda, who is chief of the ICT and development section of ESCAP. ESCAP is the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. You're very welcome. And of course, you are also chair of the uh, WISIS Regional Commissions and the vice chair of UNGIS. So mm -hmm. tell us about the challenges and opportunities mm -hmm. you are facing in what is a very large region with very different cultures and problems. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this uh, um, very good question. Now, as you can imagine, uh, ESCAP covers 62 member countries, 53 geographically, uh, from Turkey to the Pacific. So as you said, it's a very diverse group of countries. And the level of uh, ICT development in terms of the infrastructure, capacity, applications, and the ecosystem policy and regulations are quite diverse as well. So on the one hand, we have a group of developed countries which are using uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain, uh, Internet of Things in uh, a diverse sector uh, of society, while uh, on the other hand, the other group of about one third of uh, ESCAP member countries still are, are struggling to develop these uh, uh, building blocks of uh, information society. So our role is to uh, analyze and identify where are those gaps and uh, find the opportunities to narrow this widening gap between developed countries and developing countries in Asia and the Pacific. And because we are a regional commission, uh, our focus is really the regional cooperation to promote and to facilitate member countries working together. So one of the initiatives that we are developing and implementing is the Asia-Pacific Information Superhighway, which is a regional broadband connectivity initiative trying to identify the missing links in terms of the physical infrastructure, as well as uh, looking at it from uh, a soft uh, aspect, uh, broadband for all, as well as e-resilience and internet traffic management, so that region as a whole will have this ecosystem to enable uh, the uh, development towards the information superhighway. Hence the role of the regional commissions. It's important to work on the micro level at times, isn't it? Yes, so this is where um, the importance of uh, uh, working together partnerships comes in because we are looking at uh, Asia Pacific as a region and we may not necessarily go into rural areas but there are UN agencies working very closely with communities and NGOs so we have this win-win situation and synergies. For instance, if UNESCO or UNICEF has uh, um, uh, school connectivity initiatives, this is where we can provide a national and regional level connectivity which can support the, the local initiatives. So I hope that this whole ecosystem, not only among the member countries, but within the UN agencies, are conducive to move forward uh, together. And why is it important for your agency to be here at WISIS Forum? Um, thank you for this question. Um, it is very important because, as you know, um, USIS has action lines which are uh, theme-based. So we believe that regional commissions can provide a regional layer in whole discussion because, as you can imagine, Asia and the Pacific and Africa don't have the similar um, challenges and opportunities. So by our um, uh, sharing the regional perspectives. I hope that the discussion will be richer and we can uh, learn from other uh, regions as well, but also to have a common uh, picture or page in terms of what are the challenges in Asia and the Pacific, and jointly we can come up with a uh, regional solution. Atsuko Okuda, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me here.